All I'm all, all I'm gonna say is that money talks. That's one, right? And two, they know who people like. And Frieza being like the first humongous deal, right? It wasn't Vegeta, it wasn't Nap, it wasn't Raditz, it wasn't a fucking Ginyu Force, it was Frieza. Frieza was the guy that motherfuckers was worrying about. He was running the fucking the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? He was that dude. He's Lord Frieza. That's how they that's how motherfuckers know him as. So clearly there were there's gonna be some like, you know. I don't know if you want to call it sentimental value, but like, you know, Frieza is just different. You know what I'm saying? And they brought him back for the movie. Smart decision. And then they then they went a step ahead and they're like, you know, we're going to bring him back for the Terminator Power too, Because even though Majin Buu, you know, Majin Buu never kind of left the show. You know, they defeated right. Kid Buu. That Yo, that was one of the craziest actuallys ever. Like they even drew Majin Buu in the trailer for the tournament and then yeah. said, "Nope." Yeet. Yo, you remember when they when they even showed us Chiseled Buu, like Buu after training for like a minute. And I was and ready then he went to right see back that to be a fat. Yo. <laughs> but but see, even with something like that, like they were about to give us something that we didn't expect. But then they actually lead us. They're like, you know, actually, we're going to give you something that you're not going to expect even more. That, by giving us Frieza was, again. Dude, the whole thing with Frieza and the T.O.P., like that whole fight at the end, that was some of the craziest shit Dragon Balls put out. And you have to admit, like sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they just hit. So, exactly. Exactly. Because, yo, think of it this way. Would it? Would that moment have been as impactful with Majin Buu? Absolutely with anyone not. Anyone else? No. Not even with Vegeta. Sorry. Nope. Not even with Vegeta. Nope. No Nobody. one else. Nobody. Not even his own sons. Nope. No one. It is literally the fact that it is the guy that he defeated way back then, who he despises. Right. You know what I'm it's saying? The like your hatred for each other that made it so beautiful. Oh, this is that's the shit that people were like, there were like you said there there was there's literally nobody else that they could have done that, and that shot is ingrained in my head. The fucking for back life. to back, fucking and it, this shit was fire. Just thinking back on that shit, free Goku and freaking Frieza teaming up. Never in a million years would anybody expect that shit to happen. And you saw, and you saw where all of Universe Seven was watching Frieza take the dive, where he literally tried to like bear hug the shit out of Jiren and just take him out with him. They were like, "Wait, wait, wait! Is Frieza like? Is Frieza really trying to kamikaze this man out the tournament?" That shit was fucking. Like beautiful. they did not think he was willing to take the L for the team, but he was. Man, I'm sick of people shitting on Superman. Look, like, just think about that moment. Real, oh my God. See, people that shit on are quick to shit on Super. They have short term memory. They Facts. have fucking short-term no, no, memory. No, no, no. You know, you know what it is. You know what it is, and I, I definitely like to bring this up because this is just an anime thing in general, and this is something I've noticed with a generational thing. I think this is this is something that's happening in a lot of younger people, and it's only gonna get worse. Obviously, you know, niggas got the attention spans of squirrels or less these days. <laughs> uh -huh. But I've I've come to notice that when people when people watch you know animes or stuff like that and we're, we're just gonna keep it anime because that, that's what we're talking about here yeah. but when people watch shit they don't pay attention no. these days and like i'm not talking about like oh like they don't understand they couldn't comprehend something no no no. i'm not talking about big brain shit okay i'm talking about like when you put on an episode did you watch the episode <laughs> or were you on your phone for like half of it and it's subbed and you're missing all the subtitles and you don't speak Japanese. So you have no idea what the fuck's going on. You're like, oh, yeah, I saw that show. It was pretty good. And then I hit you with like one question. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You start shitting on it. There are so many people that say that they watched some shit and weren't paying attention for like 70 percent or more of the episode. And that shit's doubled if it wasn't even in English. Because now they can't even just, like, listen to it and background that shit. Right. Like, see, that's the, that's the difference. And then we get some head-ass comments because they're like, oh, yeah, this could be this. And it's like, you're, like, 
your uneducated opinions are showing and you have no idea like there's so many people out there that just like say some head ass shit because they weren't paying attention to anything and they're just like like they speak before they think you know that applies to a lot it does but i wanted to keep it to animes well i'm i'm keeping it to animes too because i showed you earlier I had somebody comment on literally one of my videos about the fucking release date of this movie. And they they were really so head ass that they wrote a whole comment saying that I was wrong. They laughed about it. And then they commented under themselves correcting themselves. Saying like, "Oh, actually you're right. My bad." Ha ha ha. <laughs> that's amazing like yeah imagine watching and listening to what it is that you put on like like somebody like you as an individual click on a video right you click on it so what would you what, what is the next step <laughs> are you gonna watch right. the shit what like right yeah, like you know what, you know what? I just I totally just remembered another perfect example of this 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 fuckery that I don't like is you know, like I I, I take I take my entertainment very seriously as most Americans do, whether we like <laughs> to admit it or not. Yeah. But um, you know, we take our entertainment very seriously out here. So I'm one of those people that I like I don't like to miss a line. I really don't like to miss a line. I like to know the lore, I like to know what the fuck's going on, yep. I like to be able to break it down, I like to be able to know all the facts. I like my shit, okay? I pay attention. If I missed it, rewind. Yep. No questions. None. I feel like we a dying breed out here. That people people don't people don't do that shit anymore. They're not gonna watch something a second time because like a lot of shows have replay value too. Like it doesn't matter if you paid hundred and ten percent attention the whole time, you could finish a series watch it a second time and find so much shit that you absolutely. missed out on absolutely so, replay See, I really value is important do that too. with animes i can't i don't even do that with like regular ass shows and that's fine that's fine but like my point my point is that like if you're not even gonna give it its full attention in the first place how can you really form these head-ass opinions and and the, the, where i was going with this is um i was at i was at work and there were some people talking about Super, like they're, they're catching up on Super because they oh, haven't no. seen it. And they started watching like the T.O.P. arc. And I was just kind of like, OK, so I'm at work and these niggas in the kitchen pull up Super on their phone. And I'm like, you can't hear shit. You have no idea what's going on. <sighs> and I think I think you must have been looking at your phone for like three minutes out of the 19 minute episode there. But they talking about it. And I heard so many comments that I want, like, I literally had to hold myself back from saying a word because they have no idea who I am. They have no idea that I'm on this podcast, that I'm a Dragon Ball ass nigga. They have no idea how much I know about the <laughs> franchise. But they're saying all these things that are, like, making my blood boil. And I'm just like, I just have to sit there and hold that because they really have no idea what they're talking about. And that's a lot of people out there. Ah, uh, uh, Yeah. It's very scary and it's super like it's 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 like amazing in the worst way in <laughs> the worst way. Oh, that's that good shit.